Hi guys, happy f Friday, I think. I really hope not. No, I, I have a feeling it's, yeah, it's Friday. Alright, so, yeah, I'm not in black today. Way too hot. Just a little too hot out there for black. It's incredibly hot, so. Um, let's do parts of the wand today. And then we'll do, um, coffee chocolate. Shoe. All right, the butt, the butt hand, the the handle of your wand. So, the butt end of the wand, the thicker end is often left just flat, or sometimes is rounded. You can do so many neat carvings with these wands. I mean, it is really incredible. So when your wood is actually done drying, and you have like peeled the bark back or whatever, and you've carved, and you're gonna you know finish it and you know varnish it, it is amazing what you can do. Alright, so, um, or even carved into the shape of a hoof. That's really my, my, my goal, but I don't know how, how well it's going to look like a hoof. So, I don't know. So, which gives it one of its alternative names. What is the alternative name? Alright, so, where'd I go? I don't know where I, oh, so it is quite usual, although not essential. Uh, for a hole to be um, bored into the butt end. So this is sometimes used to personalize the wand or create a link between it and the witch by um, inserting some hair, um, and nail clippings, and blood, or other bodily fluids. So yeah, that's pretty, I mean, you can get really creative with your wands and you can really get them. I mean, just go all out and have fun. So the hole is usually sealed by wax or um, a wooden plug. Sometimes the hole is used to uh, put a small piece of paper or parchment inside which states on it the intent the spell that is to be performed. I like that idea. I really like that idea, but I'm not drilling a hole in my wand because it's too small. It ruined the whole thing. So obviously this is changed each time you do a different spell. It's also quite common to place a small lodestone, which is a natural magnet, obviously we all know that, in the hole and seal it in as a way of charging the wand with magical energy. So we have that too, which I really like that. Um, in fact, some crafters um, drill a hole along the length of the wand and insert a copper rod, which is then or previously rubbed with a magnet along its length to achieve the same effect. So that is pretty, I mean, that's really, really, really interesting. I love that part. So you can do a lot. So that, yeah, actually the choice is up to us. So we, you know, we ultimately get to choose what we're going to do with our wand. So that's a good thing. Um, so a butt can also be a separate piece of material uh, that has been added to the shaft, perhaps of a different type, such as clay or metal. I, I mean, my athame is, you know, it's it's completely, it's got a sheath. It's got, you know, the, the butt is actually, you know, um, bone and it's got you know it's it's kind of like a zigzag it's called a bone crusher and then the handle actually you know has a little man and it looks like you could probably unscrew it but you can't but it's still that's kind of like what I want to what I want to go for with the wand I have so many actually no I have three the morning star which well the, the looking the look-alike morning star so now we have the shaft of the wand Although the shaft can be completely plain and straight, it is the part of the wand that is usually the most carved or styled. Ouch. It's not, um, if it's not already grown in a natural spiral. I love, I would love that, and I am probably going to find one today, sadly. <laughs> That'd be five wands. Four, or I don't know how many. Um, where'd I go? I don't know where it went. Oh, the natural spiral. So the shaft can be carved into such a form, which is called a vine or snake, depending on the style. So I really like that. I like the snake, the serpentine energy, but I have that with the other wand. So that's sitting on my cauldron. Where did I go? Oh, the shaft can be carved into a series of balls, cut square, star, or any shape you honestly really like. So it doesn't matter. You can do what you want to do. It can be... Stained, painted, burned, lettered, run, or any combination of the above and others. So, I mean, just get creative. Get really creative. You can also have metal wires, metal, metal wires running in, or in, around it in a spiral. 
or other patterns, and this can be for beauty's sake or to enhance its magnetic properties. So it's, you know, yeah, I like that. So the choice is up to the owner. So, like the butt, the shaft may also be smeared with any of the owner's bodily fluids to further enhance its connection with them. So it's, I like, I really like. Now we have the toe, which is the very tip of the wand. So, as with the butts, the toe can be a different material to the main wand, such as a naturally found crystal, stone, metal bone ivory, or indeed a piece of wood. So this is joined to the main shaft by binding and is called the point. So although it's actually the toe proper, <laughs> I love that. Oh, I love it when they put in proper. So if not adding a toe, then <clears throat> um, the end of the shaft can be uh, left flat, like the butt, but is more often carved. Again, this can be, t or it can take, this can take form, any form you like, but the most usual would be either a phallic toe, um, a cone, or a moon toe. So a cone is where the shaft it suddenly narrows to a point, and the moon is where it's gently rounded. A phallic toe is obvious. It's very, very obvious what a phallic toe is. <laughs> Where'd I go? Uh, yeah, if, if not, you know, it's going to be a somewhat strange description. So, of course, the whole wand from butt to toe could be gently tapering along the, uh, the shaft, like the pointing stick of an Australian Aboriginal shaman or snooker cue. The snooker cue with the, with the uh, little thing that you bring back with the dice with, that thing. So, I mean, there's just all kinds of ways you can, you know, fix up your wand and what you can do with it and what you can put in it. It's just incredible. So, these are just the parts, the components of the wand, just like the broom, which is really interesting, too. And we will have a lot more on the wand as we go on. It's really, 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 really warm, so... Alright. Alright, let's do some coffee talk. Let's see what's going on. Alright, any YouTubers... Um, are, are, did you guys get paid yet from YouTube? Um, I had to redo my tax form, and I did it today, and it said on the 20th, you have to do it by the 20th, or you won't get your payment. And I thought, great, and I did it this morning, and... Uh, I don't need it right now, but I mean, I really honestly don't want to wait until next month and then have one giant lump sum that's been carried over. So that's alright. It really is freaking warm. Happy birthday, Feruza Ball. You are one amazing woman. Again, another icon. Please do not leave me. <laughs> So yeah, big, big, big icon of mine growing up. So yeah, so thank you for um, the different car or the uh, carvings. Yeah, thank you for the compliments on the uh, my altar, my 28 year old altar. <laughs> and yeah, you've just been an inspiration to me since I was, you know, growing up watching you. I love it, and I love you. You're amazing, and you better have a great day. All right. Let's see here. If I can actually get to my comments. There we go. Is it actually working today? I think it is. I think it's actually working today. Yep. Oh, crap. I don't want analytics. I want comments. There we go. Hopefully that takes me to the comments. Let's see here. So yeah, it's really warm. Wow, and it's really freaking windy. I mean, it's really, really windy. No, I want my comments. I don't want analytics. This is taking forever, and I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. Okay, there we go. Comments. There we go. Oh my god, they popped up. Maybe. Hmm. Wow, okay. 
Johnny Huss. Ask him why the authorities are covering up. Um, I don't do anything um, with the missing 411 persons th thing anymore. So, no. Sorry. James Jones. Hey, you. Dang, I snapped my wood the other day. Guess I rendered it useless. I'm happy I see this. So I now know for future, I'm into shamanism and nature spirits. Seems there's a lot to learn about making relationships with the tree spirits. Yeah, don't ever call them fairies. Don't ever call them fairies, because they are not. <laughs> yeah, you can anger them, and I mean, they will, you know, retract, and they won't even talk to us, so. Literally, it is their, you know, right to not want to help us. They don't have to, but, you know, they do. So, it's nice. That's why we have to build a good rapport with them. James Jones, you could definitely consecrate a lopshear or any garden tool, I'm thinking. I would think so. I got a pretty rad pair of lopshears, and I mean, they cut good. And they are like crescent moons, you know how they curve. So yeah, I totally could do that. I want to do that, I mean, it's, it's gotta be, you know, easier. Okay, James Jones, hello again. <laughs> you're, you're cool, you're one cool guy. Cool, I was literally thinking of wands the other day. I cut some ash sticks, oh my god. I will pay you if you send me one. Literally. I mean, our ash tree, it, it, we had a small tornado that came and it, literally we watched it fall down. And it was, it, we called it the widower because every time a bird landed on it, a piece of wood, an ash tree, and they are very sharp. They have very sharp points, unlike blackthorn. Well, blackthorn is sharper, so yeah, ash trees are sharp too, but my dad called it the widower. I was outside one day and a kaboom, oh, like one stick fell down and it literally went into the ground about three inches. I was like, oh, that could have been my skull. <laughs> I got taken out. That would be a great way for me to get taken out collecting stuff for a wand. Okay. Okay, so you cut some ash sticks for making pentagrams and it came to me to make a wand. Ooh, I even thanked the tree when I cut them, so after seeing this, I'm surprised you make a wand. Uh, I'm inspired to make a wand. It's a sign. That is a sign. That it really is honestly a synchronicity. I would actually, yeah, build, you know, up that relationship with the wand and see what, you know, if there's, you know, any kind of dryad in it. And definitely. Sheila Nagel. Hi, love. How are you? Well, damn. I missed it again. Sorry. I was busy. You're okay. It's okay. I promise I'll go live again. Nice video. Gustavo. Hi, my brother. Candles are coming. I love it. I love the one day. The one day shipping. It's great, especially for that candle. Alright, uh, Lady Witch. Hi, you. How are you? Okay, I know it sounds um, hokey as can be, but she was hurting so much here. Yeah, I do kind of know she was hurting. Um, it was pretty... I, it, they keep saying that she died from a broken heart, and I, t I truly believe that, because uh, Debbie Reynolds died from a broken, broken heart. From her daughter, Carrie Fisher. So it's very odd to know she's not here, but we know she's still around. You know, damn well she's haunting a few people before she goes. I hope. <laughs> Stomping around in those notorious stripper shoes. Oh my god, I love it. Everything that she ever did is amazing. It really is. She's one amazing woman. Tauntaun. I love that for her. Gustavo, great video. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, my brother. I love you. Kenneth Vernon. Gustavo. Hermosa Flores. Yeah, I will be doing Santa La Santisimo Muerte videos, I promise. Lady Witch. Yes, I know you remailed my package, but I have not received it yet. Wait, what happened? Oh my god, do I have to really watch out for another one? Alright, Melody Lee, my queen of negativity. Hi, you. The partial sun. Hello. Sasha Slaughter. How are you? I love you. I love you guys. You're amazing. Cindy Miller. It's actually giving me time, room to actually see. Um, uh, Amy Hansen. Hi. How are you? Jerry McGuire. There is no god. Your god is worthless. Oh, you have 666. I love that. Gustavo. Skyly Sullivan. Sky Sullivan. Sorry. I love you. Um. Jasper Quinzel. Can someone please explain to me why all white witches 
Wait a minute. All white witches judge you for using blood magic. It really perturb perturbs me. Perturbed. I like that word. It does me too. Um, there's no such thing as a white witch or a black witch. There's no such thing as black magic or white magic. It's neutral like nature. So whoever's telling you, whoever's reprimanding you for using blood magic, they're ridiculous because it is a part of witchcraft. It is a part of traditional craft. So it's always in the craft. It's always been in the craft. Blood magic has always specifically been a part of the craft. So they obviously don't know what they're talking about. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, now we're getting into some uh, religious nuts. So, that's about it for me. So, alright, guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you guys stay safe and stay healthy and don't you guys ever go anywhere on me. Okay, got that? Alright. So, I love you guys with all my heart. All the way from, yeah, Venus, again. All the way back down. I think I got it right. There we go. I love you guys. Thank you for all of your amazing comments. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So, thank you guys.